So hey guys, welcome to Dogwood Springs Outdoors. I'm Jim. Today we're working on a diverter valve install for our tractor. This is a mid-sized tractor. It's a John Deere 5310. It's a 1998 model. It's a 63 horsepower. I, uh, and we have a uh, add-on. It's not a, a John Deere loader. It's an allied loader that was added probably about 10, 10 or so years after the tractor was purchased. And uh, the only really attachment I've ever had for the loader was the bucket. And I had clamp on pallet forks for that, that, that you know, are helpful as well. But I uh, really wanted to grapple for a long time. And so I decided to, to make that purchase, but I needed additional hydraulics for that. So after a lot of looking around, I decided on a diverter valve would be the easiest um, solution and probably the most affordable solution for me. And I wanted something that I could do myself. So, we got one and uh, the first off the my loader the hydro I don't have any additional hydraulics up front or lines up front so the rear remotes are actually the lines hydraulic lines are run all the way up to the to power the loader from there and so uh, we got this this diverter valve and from summit hydraulics is the one who decided to go with on that and if for those of you not familiar uh, diverter valve is not really a did not use a third function. It, it just takes your existing uh, flow from your from your hydraulic lines and temporarily diverts it to other lines while you're engaging the switch or button or whatever it happens to be. In this case, I got a joystick control to add to uh, replace my my existing joystick. And um, so we're going to start out with the hydraulics hydraulic lines installed on that and get in you know our joystick mounted. They they sent a they have several different adapters for the joystick so it will fit on your existing joystick and I measured and, and ordered I think what was it a 12 millimeter by 1.75 because I thought that's what I had but I also was going they had about three sizes to choose from of adapters this is just what the adapter looks like there it, it um, you know just screws on the threads on your joystick after you take your knob off and then their joystick fits on top of that well, anyway, I got it in with the with the rest of the kit, and it did not fit uh, at all. It's screwed on about one turn. So I remeasured and figured out that what I needed is not as one they had, and but they do have a tappable version. So they sent me that, and um, the same day, there's so great customer service. Again, I don't have any relationship with with them other than purchasing from them, but I've been very happy with my experience with Summit in that regard. But anyway, so we're going to get that uh, whole tap to fit the, the threads on my current joystick and then uh, work on the hydraulic lines first and then move, in my case, we're going to do all that first and then move to the um, electrical. Do that on, on the, is the last thing. And then hopefully, like, like I say, I can't immediately use this because I... The one thing about the Allied loader is they, they quit manufacturing them. I think 2019 is the last year they made them. And it's a propri proprietary uh, attached, quick attached system that they have. It's been, this works well, but you, you can't find it. You know, it doesn't match up with any of the other John Deere or Skid Steer or, you know, Euro styles. So I'm very limited in what I could do with that. So I'm, I've ordered a new, uh, skid steer adapter setup or kit for that and that's being fabricated and I hope to have that soon but in the meantime I'd like to have all this you know system hooked up and ready so as soon as I get it I can you know hit the ground running but that's it we'll get started uh, and hopefully this will be helpful to you It has threads, so we're gonna go see what we got. All right. 
one thing down. And so that then, you know, that will thread on to there. Hope that's not too far back. Might need to check that out. So first, we'll talk a little bit about the setup here. Um, what we did, uh, we have all the hydraulics hooked up. This this is the valve itself. And when you're when you're getting a valve, there's several options, and so you kind of need to know you need to know your hydraulic flow rate because you, you don't really well, otherwise you'd be spending more money than you need. Like uh, I think my hydraulic flow is 11 gallons a minute and so this is up to 13 gallons a minute but they make them up to 24 one up to 24 and another one up to 30 and some i'm talking about particularly makes that they make them for different you know with different fittings different um for different systems like a 12 volt or 20 volt four volt uh system so all of those are things you need to know what your tractor is before you you know go in to to purchase all of this and obviously, like I mentioned, fittings are a big deal. The, the, if you get a kit, it, you know, it's gonna come with fittings. In, this, in my case, all these are, uh, uh, I think, half-inch fittings. It, it came with the initial, like uh, right here is the, uh, that's SAE going into the valve and then a JIC fitting coming on the outside. So my hoses, I ended up getting four hoses. I ran my existing hoses from the rear remotes which need replacing, but I can't afford that right now. Um, in, you know, into the valve, these, I ended up having to buy these separate. So these are swivel fittings in it. So it's SAE half inch with a uh, gasket on that end. And the swivel fitting is uh, JIC female. So all, everything on my tractor is JIC, but you really need to know what you have and, and get that stuff, you know, as much as possible in advance so you're ready to go once you once you start hooking it up so i had went to my local napa store who they make hydraulic hoses and will weld and do everything they're there it's a great uh store had a lot of fittings but i had these hoses made up so these two that that will continue the flow from the main valve back to where it was which goes to the bucket tilt um those in my case are three foot um hoses i added fittings and, and fittings are what gets you. I mean, as far as the, the hose itself is not cheap. It's a little less than $7 a foot for me to buy locally. Um, but, you know, getting the nice fittings with elbows and swivel ends and things like that, that's where you, you get hit with the um, big, big fees. And I'll talk about kind of what this whole project cost me. I think at, at the end, I'll try to add all that up and, and tell everybody, but so these, one of the things I did, a lot of people, you know, were measuring the videos. I've seen people with tape measures trying to figure out how much hose they need. Well, um, I had a piece of scrap garden hose and that worked great because it, you know, it's about the same rigidity as far as figuring out where you need to route something. So you can just, you know, use that as a guide and then mark and measure that. So it's, it's gives you a lot uh, better baseline as far as the hose lengths you need. Um, so anyway, so when, when your valve is, is operating normally, the flow just goes straight through and, and continues out so you have the option of the tilt. And then, so this is the auxiliary valve. So when you, you engage that, in this case, the button on my joystick, that goes down to the new lines that will operate the, the grapple. So that's where we are. And so my, my hose is actually, these two are three feet and uh, the others that went to the front on my tractor are, are I think eight and a half feet. Otherwise, it's fairly simple. Just make sure you don't cross or thread anything and, and get the right fittings on that. Uh, I ended up getting, I wasn't, I wasn't originally going to mount it here. I didn't like it kind of stuck out on the side, but in the end, I decided it would be uh, most convenient and easiest to work with, get on and off. So I actually got, they have different kinds of mounting brackets. So it depends on where you want to put it in your system, or they have two that I'm aware of. Uh, but this was ready made and it just clamped on my loader itself. so it worked out well with with my front remotes which i'm, I'm probably going to move a little i got a little slack so i can slide up and down but they, they're it doesn't affect it my tilt doesn't affect it at all so i mean the only thing that's going to matter on that is the length of the cable or length the length of the hoses on the the uh, grapple and so i might adjust that accordingly uh once i I'm able to 
actually add it. Um, so that's going to be it for the hydraulic portion of this install. We'll come back in a separate video and do the electrical. But thanks for watching this one, y'all, and hope you'll come back and check out the next one. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. We'll try to keep it coming. Thank you.